Magic 2007. I'm here with my man, the Punish Punisher himself, boy, the boy. Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz. Tito, what's up? Good, man. It's chilling. It's out here to enjoy the Magic Show. You know, we got a booth going. You know, I, I've been wanting to do this the last couple of years. I just got to make sure that I, I have the right quality and uh, of the clothing itself, you know. Um, it really matters the most, I man. As I started growing the company, is just make sure that everything that I'm going to wear myself is ain't going to fall apart. The sewing's not going to rip apart. And through the trial I've been doing through the last, you know, seven years, I finally got to the point now where I could come to Magic Show and I could be 100% behind my clothing company. And everybody who works with me, they do an awesome job. So it's just one of those things. As it's a company that's grown. It's a clothing company out of uh, Orange County that you know I started in '99 and I put my heart and soul into it. And what better word than punishment? Everyone in this world endures some type of punishment one time in their life, and you know, let's wear it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, you guys have seen me wear the punishment stuff on the show. Tito's been cool enough to take care of me in that aspect, sponsor the show. You guys have got even more cool-ass uh, logos and, and designs that come out. Well, I mean, it, for us, it's uh, every quarter. Every quarter, we want to come out with some new gear. So um, there's always new gear coming out, always new stuff coming out. You know, And the stuff that, that people like a lot, we'll keep it on the line. But it's just one of those things that every quarter, we try to get something cool and better to come out with for the next year. You know, uh, Next year, we're possibly coming to Cut and Sew with uh, Levi's and so forth. Um, a lot more fitted shirts. You guys go out to... Um, to nightclubs, you know, dinners, uh, button-up shirts. We're trying to go into that realm also, just taking the next step. You know, we started with just hats and beanies and T-shirts and jackets and shorts. Now we're going to take the next step over and get into some more of the casual wear. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, you guys are, are, are a serious clothing company. You guys are, are expanding your line, as you said. How, how much of a fire under your ass did Jenna put under you when she when you guys got together by this company? Um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure if it was Jenna that put the fire under my ass for this thing. You know, it was just uh, one of those things that I had a heart and I had a business savvy mind myself of, uh, you know, pushing a company. My ex-wife helped me start. I remember we were, when we used to be married and uh, I had it inside of one of my rooms and we had two cats and the cats would be laying on t-shirts. So some of those people that got t-shirts way back when, back in 99, 2000, if you got hair on your shirt, sorry, man. But now, you know, as I build a company and got it better and Started, you know, exposing as much as I possibly can, and Jen has helped me out a lot, you know, by marketing, being a model, marketing, being a model in it for it and stuff. And uh, she's a smart woman; she helps me out a lot. And of course, I'm a smart guy, and I try to come up with the best business savvy things for my company to endure for years upon years upon years. So it's just not a flash in the pan. So that's why I think I've been working so hard of not letting it go from '99 when I first started until now. Is it, it, it's just a, a, a levels of work to keep pushing it each and every year. Absolutely. Tell me where your mind is right now with you with you having a fight coming up against Rashad Evans. Um, well, right now I go back home after the um, Magic Show and start training. Um, I'll be fighting, I believe it's uh, November 17th uh, in Newark. Uh, I believe that's Jersey, I think. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I'll bring it to the East Coast. All people in the East Coast get a chance to come see me in person out there. So you better buy your tickets quick. If not, buy it on pay-per-view, of course. But excited, man. You know, the first fight I thought I won, but, you know, they gave it a draw. So You hurt your back in that fight? Yeah, I hurt my back in that fight, and it's gotten a lot better. You know, the soreness went away. I'm actually able to sit down for a long uh, duration of time. Before, I couldn't because I was just such back pain. I had um, before L4 and 5 in my lower back of my disc. It was bulging, so I had problems with that. Yeah. Well, there's people waiting on your autograph. They want to meet yeah, you. Yeah. They want to get to you. I want to thank you very much for coming on this show. All right, without a doubt. Of course, everybody, podcast. Thanks for supporting us. Punishment Athletics, punishment.com. Check it out. The Ultimate Podcast, Tito Ortiz, Punishment Athletics. Yeah.